<laughs> Hi! So this is something that was uh, pointed out to me that I kind of find funny is that uh, with my camera position right now, um, you guys can't see right now, but that, <laughs> my face is right over where a lobster cop is. Um, so I'm the bastard this time. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's be cowboys. All waffles are bad stones. <laughs> hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I do. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. It hasn't. It's been five minutes, Mary. About five minutes. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of an invisible wizard. A mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. <laughs> but the contents of the phone were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Oh, is this taking us back now? <laughs> That's funny. They kept my notebook from the last one. Except this time it's gonna... <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the detective frog. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know, it's so hard to describe our professional relationship. We're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly, like a manager almost. Yeah. I love this recap. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha, <laughs> obviously I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Alright, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, oh, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head for the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute! Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. Not grabbing the notebook, though. That's for the evil person. Grab. Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. <laughs> Call HR. <laughs> yeah, sexual attacks. I mean, it's going both ways. I think we're just flirting with each other. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station, and it's, it's all so cool. There's like a new color scheme and stuff. <laughs> but can you believe it? Some, someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet, so... You're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it, okay? Enjoy the case. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate that. Good luck with your career. Corruption at Cowboy County. Can you switch shoes? Or that's always been the shoes. <gasps> okay, bye. Bye, game. Those cowboy boots? I hope so. I was really hoping they would be. Um, I know the phone's ringing, but I'm, I'm busy. <gasps> There's a Razor scooter! Oh, sick. Someone's cool. Someone's parents are cool. Oh, I somehow picked it up. Uh, hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? There's a random phone on the street. Why'd you assume it was ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. I thought they get the answer the phone, yeah. Because <laughs> I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. <laughs> Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why'd you call? I have a special surprise for you. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. Am I going to be able to ride around on a scooter? 
Yo, are we gonna see Frog Detective have like a fucking sick um Spyro the Dragon uh Tony Hawk skater pro skater moment where you're like go on the skateboard? That was like one of the coolest things about Spyro the Dragon. I think it was like the second and third game, is you get a fucking skateboard and you just like you can actually like do like sick like pro Tony Hawk pro skater moves in those games. Um I remember that so clearly from childhood. Oh, I really hope that's the case. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What'd you order then? A scooter, of course. Yeah, fucking sick. Should be near the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. <laughs> anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and we'll be waiting at Griga Town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. Alright, see ya. Oh, I'm so excited. My very own scooter's sick. Got a scooter. Please let me do some sick tricks with this. Hop on with Y? Let's go! Oh my god. Oh, this is the best one. This is the best game so far. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, I can't get it. Let's go. Oh, give me some sick trip. Oh, let's go. Can I do that? It kind of lets you. I hope they put in a half pipe in here. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Super hot presents. <laughs> Alright, this is the best intro so far, just because we have a scooter. <laughs> starring Lobster Cop. No, it's supposed to be starring me! <laughs> Susie Rabbit. Sherman and the Bandits. Okay. <laughs> Frog Detective. Plus a special guest. Ah, oh, it's a thing behind the things. When are we gonna see some cool scooter tricks? I was doing them earlier. But I hope that they put in like a half pipe into the town. But like real cool tricks, I'm trying. by Grace Bruxner and Thomas Boker. Alright, what am I gonna do to make Grace pop out this time and scold me? Oh, let's fucking go. Look at that. See that? Sick trick. Oh, yeah. Oh, they made it so you can't get up there. That's fine. Get up here. Alright. We're gonna do a sick dive into town. Let's go. Oh, look at that hop. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. I guess we'll go talk to Lobster Cop. <laughs> fine. Ruin my fun. Hey, Lobster Cop. You're gonna solve the mystery. <gasps> right on time, Detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cot? Sure can. I've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Oh. This town was thriving, Detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah. 
I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So anyway. I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right. There was something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. Supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. Supervisor really dropped the ball. <laughs> Do you really think I'd need your help? No, me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Huh? The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Is it you? Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County. <gasps> Mason Mole. That's the guy. He's the guy that stole my notebook and also the guy hiding behind the Warlock Woods thing. I, you know what? I bet he was somewhere in the first chapter as well. And I just didn't see him. I bet, I bet that's the case. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. No. Huh? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You have one on. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hat. Can you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the Sheriff. Okay. Um... Is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. I'm sorry? Here. Notebook. Someone mailed it to you. I don't trust you, mole. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure. How much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective. As I am lead investigator on this case, I trust you to follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I can use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Um, I'll handle the motive and the suspects, you handle the crime scene and the method. Okay, it's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, like a gun, uh, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I'm very hungry boy and I'll need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No! I need a proper meal. And you're loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those to you. You need to be reminded of what I want. Come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, Lobster Cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. He's a cocky son of a bitch. Case 3. Mystery of the Missing Hats. Lobster Cop. <laughs> it's in black and white now. There's motive. There's no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. Uh, needs, crime scene map, criminal tool, key, meal, notes. Hey, it's Lobster Cop. Number one detective. Number one best detective, I'm very jealous, so tall, suspect. <laughs> oh wait, I should be in that book. Ooh, there's a cactus on the inside now. <laughs> detective. Motive. Boredom? No, I'm never bored. And I hate crime. Needs to be number one. No, it's always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. Oh no. Oh, that's too real. Alright. Anyone that doesn't find this cool is immediately suspicious. Look at that. Huh? Oh yeah. Can I get some sick... Oh, I can't grind the rails? Okay. What about this? Oh yeah, look at that. This is the coolest feature. I don't even care about solving the mystery, I just want to do this all the time now. There's a well. 
It's like an overflowing well. This is just too much fun. <gasps> I can knock around the tumbleweed. Let's go. <laughs> I'll get back to the case in a minute. Don't worry. Oh, I thought I could ride my... Alright. I'll go do the thing. <laughs> and one cool frog. It's supposed to be the bank. Susie! Hey, you! Me? Yeah, hey, you! Can you do me a favor? Uh, depends on the paper. What? Can't just agree to doing you a favor, I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I... You're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. You said you'd do me a favor, you should keep my word. I didn't agree to the favor. Also, now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. What if I talk to her again? Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. <laughs> Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna break it on my own. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking it anyway? Been nosy for someone that doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh, so you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Sure, there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. People can break in and kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have pieces of evidence that are vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I can really use that. Aha! So you'll help me out. I really shouldn't. Kind of evidence. It's a map. I think it might lead us to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on it that said, Crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Vault. So let's brainstorm ideas to get in vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? <laughs> what? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. <laughs> That's a conundrum. Yeah. There's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Isn't that against the rule? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they gonna do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Ah, well. <laughs> Great, so it's settled. You will get me a fake ID. What? No. See yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes, thank you, detective. I'll wait right here. Okay. Mind if I ask you some questions? The map. Not that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without a guy to tell you where to go. Besides, super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sounds like a good deal. I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some? Alright. Alright, Susie. <laughs> That's a very up-close picture. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs a fake ID. Yikes. Notes. Short stature, shorter temper, ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules, I suspect. <gasps> it's a cow. Also, there's like, they're like these guys are like the the employees here of like the town. They're like little worms. Is anyone in the town gonna know anyone from the island? Potentially. 
<laughs> Craig, if you're here from the evil, evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the do Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah? Where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective, and I'm a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everyone knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to fact what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that's regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The... The posties, posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. Pulse, yeah. It's a cult. Not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everyone's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. Post Malone fanboys? Yeah. Posties, yeah. <laughs> yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. Um, to be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any society, but that's only half true. Oh, the Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive and I'm a bum that they never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solve a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So no, you could have saved us both time and just said no. <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you a question? Everyone always wants information from the Ghost Spotters League. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from replying again. I'm on my second strike. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings I addressed. I was a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur of the photograph. It's so clever they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, can you take a look and see... Uh, can you... Take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it. I really don't care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have the time, I'll take a look. Okay, got a little quest? I don't suppose it's a secret society that's dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. That's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. <laughs> Barely scratch the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've been. Anything you've done. It's all dedicated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? Haha, <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? Never thought about that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how, I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run anything. Craig, I don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that's not true? None, I suppose. Just lack of evidence of it being true. I'd say it's more like a lack of evidence of it being not true. <laughs> agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, jeez. Crack motive. Wanted membership to a secret hat ceiling society. Needs definite proof of a ghost. Notes. Either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise dress. <laughs> wants to be a part- just wants to be a part of something. Man, me too. <laughs> Alright, Craig. Oh, we got the sheriff. What are these gloves here, sheriff? Ooh, these could come in handy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. Yes, sheriff? 
Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. <laughs> Got some gloves. Oh, I love this. This little chart, the red strings. Okay, we got Susie, who's connected to this person. She's connected to this guy. It looks like Mo the Mouse. Then let's connect to that guy. Then let's connect to that panda. That connect panda's also connected to the sloth guy. Okay. 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 Alright, let's talk to the sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure it'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Haha, <laughs> you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how'd you meet Lobster Cop? School. No one chose this in school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. You must think highly of you to suggest you as a new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became a sheriff. Do you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. There we go again and being noisy. Goodbye. Okay, see ya. Hmm. Motive, want to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Fellow a few words, previous to the job to help out. Suspect. Oh shit, is that Frog Detective 2 Electric Boogaloo? Um, no sir, this is Frog Detective 3. Um, we finished Frog Detective 2. Okay, we're on the third iteration now. Did I not update my stream? Information to reflect the fact that we're on the third game now. Ah, shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There you go. Frog Detective 3. This count is four, by the way. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've died four times. 100%. There's a wheelbarrow over here. Um, hey Taco, this is also the best one because you get a fucking scooter. These sick tricks. Yeah! He's going next game, so. That's right. Oh yeah, look at that. And we can do some sick like going up here and then like, oh, yeah. Then if you're lucky, you can just like jump and then like get it. Oh, oh yeah, they don't teach you that one. Oh, look at that sick grind. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? <laughs> Holy shit, I am going X Games mode. I can fly. <laughs> Gravity's just a construct of society. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck Isaac Newton. I'll defy his laws. What's up here? Is there actually something up here? Oh. Hello. Oh, I really want to see what's up there. Is there a path on the side here? <gasps> there is. Alright, we're going for that. We're going for that, 100%. Oh. Let's do it. Huh. Let's go! Let's go! 
What is here? It's two of the starfish from the island. Oh, and a little flower. Such beautiful flowers. Very spiky looking, too. Okay. Do I, do I need flowers at some point? Probably. Alright. It's good to know that that's there, though. Hey, what up, man? Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to the case now. I just wanted to show off my sick, uh... Pro skater moves here. Alright. We'll go talk to the next person. Um, hello? You an artist? Wendy, good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy C County uh, General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a um, <laughs> wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh. Uh, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. Cowboy Damn it. I was really hoping that you wouldn't fucking notice that I accidentally said cunty instead of county, but yeah. Cowboy yeah, cunty. Okay, cunty. <laughs> oh, Christ, I'm gonna get banned. Um, no, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that's in stock? You process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies, such as We are proud to offer customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What's a satisfaction guarantee? A guarantee that you will either be satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. Uh, what happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> so I can get a refund? Satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the products doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Uh, in a second, someone's... Uh, I'm busy... Uh, unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. <laughs> to be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have to have been a lot easier for me if you said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like... Maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, no. You did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! That's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. So you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but honestly it doesn't feel like that most of the time. Oh, fucking same, dude. <laughs> You're being too nice to pull out the gun and demand answers. <laughs> I'm waiting for us to get a gun. That's not good. Shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. It was just kind of the same. The same is good. At least not worse. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? See these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine's just a silly photo. I like it. <laughs> That's an amazing photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea about how I'm supposed to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted these those ones. Try to painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Haha, <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. If we find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Okay, kind of weird. What's weird? 
just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Got a photo. Can I ask you some questions? Uh, I guess nothing. Didn't really even talk about the hats. Just got a photo of them. Bear <laughs> pig. Wendy. Motive. S steal the hats in town and sell them back to the town. Perfect crime. Needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz. Rehearsed. Informal yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her. No one thinks it's weird, especially not me. Suspicious. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No. Then you cannot buy these carrots. But <sighs> why? This is not the case in where I get monies. Oh, these are some sick scooters, there, bud. Alright. Ronda Dynamite. They come far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. Ronda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. Oh yeah, let's fucking go. I do not have a weapon. I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect me to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? But no, but I loiter here every day. Everyone knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad must be most suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Bond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. <laughs> Yo, Frog Detective, don't fucking dox yourself, bud. Why not? How else are you gonna know where I live? You have a great point. <laughs> okay, there's Grace. <laughs> the detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are you gonna know how else are they gonna know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing, I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Grace. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Now nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what are you gonna do? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. <laughs> what? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him. Tell him that they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. <laughs> huh. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. I think so. To be honest with you, Detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't give him the job just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes me want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow. You sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. You mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Uh, about being sheriff. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. I'll simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. I don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that'd be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. I, I'd just do it, honestly. Less fun, though. <laughs> I don't have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies, just don't be beat up the Sheriff. Fine, fine. <sighs> I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case? Your job. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. <laughs> That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documentations, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? 
Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if I question? Okay. So if we get them writing tools, then they can make a forgery for us. And then we can uh, break into the bank. <laughs> it's an intense close-up. So, Rhonda Dynamite. Motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch, though. Uh, needs to write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict resolution skills. Notes. Wants to fight me. No, wait. She wants to fight everyone. Knows my full address and dreams about being the sheriff. Suspicious. Okay. How? How are you playing the piano? You don't have arms. How's he doing that? Oh wait, there's an artist. Pistol. Ooh. Well, if this isn't the frog in the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours for being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you've mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I'd love to illustrate them. I'd love that too. Fortunately, I don't have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and one day you'll be able to afford my work. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes. My finest piece, yes. It's a... Uh... Well, you see, it's clearly a... Uh... Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is Bob. You are right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise and then the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. Yeah, I mean, that's usually how, you know, curses work. It's playing the piano with its mind, yeah. Um, that's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. The website have any specifics about the curse? No. How'd you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything like that inspires me. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Uh, the curse. Tell me more about the curse on that website. I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked. Fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. No one warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the thousandth visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax. How else was I going to get my prize money? Seems really dangerous. I was jealous because I won a hundred thousand money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. A muse. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I'd love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Uh, if you can find me a photograph or something compelling to draw, I'd be very grateful. But I think this might be too much of a challenge. How much is too much of a challenge for me? What about putting on a hat? No comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, ask questions. Give the item bear pick. There we go. Found a photograph. Some paint. Oh, can I see it? There you go. Wow. This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. 
I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, it must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So this work as you need muse? Absolutely, stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Wow, it's really good. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. Talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> got a portrait. And we met Pistol. <laughs> Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint. We did the needs. Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. I guess so. Cursed, allegedly. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. It's true. Uh, in fact, um, you know, post that banking information in the chat below, guys. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? I might look like a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident in Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. Haha! -ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them in your stew? You bet! Oh. Everyone come get your hats, too! Haha! <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Banter and Body around here. That's a nice nickname. I'm literally joking! <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha ha ha. I getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha ha. Mine too. I just don't like the way a hat looks with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? I'm not a suspicious thing. LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective? Yeah? I don't know a lot about Cowboy County. I don't know at all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke! LOL! It's okay if I talk normally. Yes, but I was just a joke. Okay. <laughs> LOL, guys. Laugh out loud. As I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Haha, <laughs> gravely. Sorry? It's a gravely haunted graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL, I just got the gravely thing. Haha, <laughs> haha. Ask you some questions. Ghost photos. You know much about the photos in the saloon? Legend has it, they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Hat stew. You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I think I, way I can think of getting the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah. You have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists! Creative types. Doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang out all day and creating things and finding themselves. Yo, fucking artists, man. Always find themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. Just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop talk taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hot stew! I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. Just normal stew, but it's famous for it around here. Lure them in with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. <gasps> Got some money! N no distinct amounts, though. Just some money. Uh, oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Can you collect four for me? 
Cool. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now we know what those cactus flowers are for, which means it's time for more sick scooter action. And I know you guys have been craving some sick scooter action. Motive: A practical joke. Perhaps needs carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes: She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen cowboy historian. Hates creativity. Jeez. A little harsh. Can I go upstairs? <gasps> I can. Oh, can I do a sick... Oh, I can. Let's go. Yeah. No. Oh, that was going to be cool. Okay, that's one cactus flower. Ah, uh, let's fucking go. Let's do a sick. That's two flowers. Let's go. Uh, oh, none of these have the big ones. That I'm guessing they're like higher up, like over there. That's three. Me, <laughs> little scorpion. Where's the fourth one? It's not there. Oh, here it is. Got a cactus flower. Should be enough flowers. Okay. Can I please buy these carrots? You have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Alright, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Also, while I'm here, I guess I might as well give you the portrait, eh? Uh, give item. Portrait. So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo. Thought he was the perfect muse. He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow. It's great. Pistol's so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It's no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. You say so, thanks. Okay. Didn't expect us to need a ladder, but I guess it's good that we have one. Then we're gonna get the stew with this one. Um, give item carrots. Hey, I managed to produce some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective, and you managed that. Watch next door and bought some. That's so cool. Add them to the stew now. And then cactus flower. Just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I collected so far. Add them to the stew. Really wish you told me that cactus flower was so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Uh -huh. Did you? 
That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. That would have hurt. Yeah. Uh, I would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand. Yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them for me. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending without being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers. In the store. Uh, that's more than I did, I suppose. Just give me a sec, I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks, I can reckon I can give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Okay, so that's our meal. For Lobster Cop. this guy. Dusty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? The stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. <laughs> answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar power bobblehead? And more. I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time to considering that why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? Sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. Sure think about a lot of things, huh? I try. But I think I get it wrong most of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> God, I'm saying you don't look like too much of a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taken forever. I'm no good at this. You have so much to say, yes, but when I write it down, it gets muddled. Nothing comes out right. Sure, it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show you. Tell me, I won't judge. Okay. Ahem. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sit around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when the waving... Uh, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod and a smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say it's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I want to write a new one. Mind if I ask you questions? Perfect poem. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I'd love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. Maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. <laughs> How about that? From his sack near the tracks. From his sack. From his sack. Nice. Cowboy, I saw a cowboy eating a snack, a bowl of cereal from his snack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. Um, towards the store to get some more, cause he was bored. Cause he was bored. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then he head off, cause he was bored. But just ahead, to his shock stood a newly built office block. It was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. It was Nessie from the lock. Um, okay, sure. Which is a to his shock, it was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his place. Nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. Ooh, plot twist, okay. 
<laughs> he waddled over, concentrated to face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went, back to bed, feeling like his egg had to tell his friend Ned. Yeah, you gotta tell Ned what happened, man. Tell his friend Ned. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Aha! It's perfect! The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. One day, maybe I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need writing my writing supplies anymore. There it is. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, 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 I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Artists, man. These... These daggun artists. Oh, I guess I already met... Yeah, I met Dusty and I helped him out in the same motive. Want to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat of osmosis. <laughs> Need someone... Just someone to talk to, I think. Poet, icon, lend... Le for legend, friend. Longs to live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Suspect. Oh, I fell. Uh-oh. Alright. Also, I know every, like, western town is, like, vaguely the same in these games, but, um, doesn't this look like the fucking one of the maps in Dead by Daylight? Like, you, you can't tell me it's not. It's got, like, literally the barn over there, a couple things. All we're missing is, like, the space that you climb over here and a bunch more places to hide. But, like, the saloon... Dead Dog Saloon? Yeah! Like, I'm telling you, it's it's pretty fucking identical over here. Also, you can do six scooter tricks like you can in Dead by Daylight. That's something I remember about the game distinctly. I got your writing supplies. Writing supplies right here. How'd you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. It sounds boring, but thanks for getting those writing supplies. If there's anything I can do for you, I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Um, fake idea for Susie. More like sussy. Am I right, guys? <laughs> I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend the detective. Amazing, I need to get a fake idea made for Susie. Can you help me? Can do. Do you want to know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Alright, all done. Anything I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Got a fake ID. Sick. Forge ID. Okay. What if I ask questions? I got the ID. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that it makes me uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be good enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, I don't get to go into the bank with her? Alright. It worked. Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, nope. That's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. No, nope, no. Nope. I should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. <laughs> fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map. Cool. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Alright.
You're the only guy I haven't talked to yet. Sherman. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I'm being head on. I am certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Uh, or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. <laughs> I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Oh. We're getting hit on hard. Because of your good looks. <laughs> it's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. Just kiss already? <laughs> Honestly, maybe after. Maybe that's in the post credit scene. Is uh, Frog Detective and Sherman finally getting together? I hope so. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. See anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. Haha. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Ronda, Ronda Dynamite, was looking up the courage to be the Ash new sheriff. Clearly she didn't get the courage in time, because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him. Oh, don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land, that's kind of the way we like it. Everyone respects and understands each other here. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was no, none of us. Or one of us. I'm not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I hope he keeps County as kind as it ever was. You ever spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him some time to settle in. But I don't know. It'd be strange when someone comes in, new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. You mind if I ask him questions? The mole. Yeah, mole man. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Wink. <laughs> anyway, I just don't really understand his moles. I love that the character model also winked. It didn't just tell me that he winked, it also winked on the character model. Love that. Um, I just don't understand his motives. Why is he here? I'm just not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Alright. Uh, what about the mine? Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. Heard this gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I mean, it sounds sensitive, but I want to ask. Is this a, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth. Hey, we refer back to the island. And he also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I think I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay, so I need a pickaxe. Um, okay. A couple of things I have to do. I still have to talk to Bonnie about the pictures for um, the Secret Society guys. <laughs> Sherman, motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Oh. Uh, needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Notes. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charged. This is a suspect. You goddamn right he is. We're not being seduced, frog detective. Let's talk about these photos. Oh, this is the same thing they're talking about. Okay. Uh, okay, so 
I just have to click on this one standing in front of a graveyard. It's totally haunted behavior. Maybe she's mourning. Do you ever think of that? And why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold, she sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. Smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. Oh, well. That's my ex-husband. Oh, sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. <laughs> just take my word for it, though. It's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. All right. This one is super spooky. Surely has to be a ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Oh, like Fresh uh, X, the that's the uh, I guess the grandfather of um, the crocodile we saw in the first case. Wow, it's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh, old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive. How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. <laughs> Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone age. Okay, thanks. Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend added this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would pull banana peels out of for people to trip on, give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah. This guy was a sheriff about 80 years ago. Great sheriff, loved by all. So not haunted. No, sorry. All good. Who's this? Is this a ghost? Ah, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came in, changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It's really weird and messy. Fun, though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. This is a reference to... Oh, God. This is, a, this is a different video game. It's referencing. I know what it's talking about, though. Oh? Hello? What game? I I think it's called Chicory. <laughs> Hello? Um, yeah. If you Google Chicory, like I I think that's the game it's referring to. Uh, I could be wrong. It could be something else, but um, I hope I'm right. Hello? Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. That's such strange energy to it. Yeah, I feel really chilly. He's handsome yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand years. Such kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might as well be right. Might I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to get rid of it. Let me know if I was right, by the way. If, uh, chicory or whatever. Oh, now it has red eyes. Oh, Jesus Christ. item goes So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. Should've known right away, but I can, I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. It's okay if I just take a photocopy of it? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the ghost spotters leak to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Uh, I think so. The rabbit has a cover as a rabbit and a paintbrush. Yeah, that's the game. Yeah. I think it's all about like restoring color to like a colorless world, it's kind of like um, Paper Mario game and many other games like it. 
It was also the Mickey Mouse game that did that similar thing, I think. Anyway, um, thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. Usually when people give stuff to me, they have a reason for having it in the first place. Do you give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. It seems really intense, it's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Getting close to the end of this one. All that's left is to change the pickaxe for a shovel, and then we should be able to get into the graveyard. <laughs> Time we have. Okay. Mentioned you wanted a pickaxe? Sure did! I have one right here if you're willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I love that, thanks. You could also trade for a nice dinner, just you and I. <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. Offers open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Ah! I, I, I'm i for it. I ship it. I hope you're not the one that's, uh, you know, that did all the crimes, Sherman. That'd break my heart. I hope he didn't do it. Yeah, me too, frog detective. Me too. I want y'all to live happily ever after. I want that to be the post credit scene. Alright, Lobster Cop, I did your fucking job for you. So, you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Thanks, so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. Looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. Too capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. I think you could be right. A key that will lead us to a clue. You do know what a key is, don't you? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you too much. So I don't have anything after all. You're on the right track. Oh, I, I didn't visit the, um... There was the well. That I forgot to visit. That's probably what I need the ladder for. To go down the well to find someone there. Then... This ladder is perfect landing down this well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there it is. Maybe it wasn't someone, but... People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Okay, we got the key. Can't wait for Frog Detective 4 who killed JFK. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Except in this case, JFK is actually a... Uh, uh, John Francis Kermit, because it's Frog Detective, so instead of uh, John F. Kennedy, it's just Kermit the Frog. <laughs> John Frog Kennedy, or uh, Kermit. Um, not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up, lucky me. Jesus Christ. Oh, I almost got in. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to get into the graveyard that way. So are you finished? Yes. Yes, I did. That sure looks like a key for me. Alright. Looks like that. The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. I don't trust you, Lobster Cop. You and your friend. I don't trust you. You're suspicious. I got you on my suspicious list.
Oh, I can't ride my scooter in the Lost Cops. <laughs> Lost Cops. I saw him. Then. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Alright, so if I go out back. Aha! According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. Odd crime, if you ask me. Which can throw it in the of this crime? Doesn't make sense. Oh, well, I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. <gasps> Great, I found the hats. I'm sure, everyone will be relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure, it's nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Yeah. Definitely not anything bad happening. Oh? What's going on here? Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. First order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. <laughs> it's gonna be the poem I helped him with. Hello, I'd like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I'm nervous. Please do not laugh. Oh no. <laughs> Saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal right from his set. He finished quickly, smart and sure. Then he headed off because he was bored. But just ahead, to his shock, there was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's not what you're supposed to- you're supposed to snap, you fucking idiots! Oh my god, uncultured, uncultured smile, you snap at a poem. No fucking clap. God. It's fucking idiots. Alright, thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop it right there, detective. I'm pleased to announce that I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust you will all have full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everyone likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. <laughs> Shortly after the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the oh, are they gonna pin it on me? Are they gonna pin the crime on me and be like the detective stole it? <laughs> as soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you notice all your hats go missing. Wait, it's with great sadness I have this to tell you this: culprit of this crime, the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. <sighs> Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that detects- that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! <laughs> Just the evil eyebrows. <laughs> oh shit. That is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found the location. Why do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come to a town that prides itself on hats, but I can't wear a hat. It's well known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Bowl. Because you're a weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. Seems to me you do, detective. Or else would you steal the hats and hide them where no one would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Uh, it's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. <laughs> we'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less my idea, more of an ominous concept. <laughs> I will elaborate. You put Frog Detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No! 
Shock murmur. Oh my god. An excellent, an excellent if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Bowl. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well in that case. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. I was framed. I was framed. I got sent to the bad room. It's just jail. I got the bad ending, guys. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't solve the crime properly. Just want a girl to slip wait, is that actually the end of the game? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Wait, what? I've been in here for That's it, that's starring Lobster Cop as number one best detective, yeah. Frog, de frog detective as the burglar. <laughs> Introducing Mason Mole as the sheriff, okay. Starring Mary as young frog detective and young supervisor. A game by Worm Club. When does Frog Detective 4 come out? I'm sure there's gonna be a post credit. Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. There's no dancing montage at the end of this one. No! Now we just have sad music. Special thanks, no. It's not even real credits. Frog Detective fans, optimists, Cowboy County residents, Sherman, Kylie Minogue, I feel like she'd be upset. Friends and family, we don't have anyone else to credit and there's still time left on the song. <laughs> the following credits are from Degrassi, the next generation season 6, episode 11? What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, hey, it's Alex Nunez! Took my time Spend more time I detecting instead of scootering this one to happen. So what comes now can't remember <laughs> not doing right. But while I'm here, maybe <laughs> just pictures of frog detective in jail. <laughs> How did they get them? I guess you don't need rights to just put the credits to not something. I, I don't know how this works, but this is fucking hilarious. I love this. Yo, Thomas Bate did a great job being a gaffer. This, this game is so fucking unhinged. Has it been a year? Wait, I have a laptop? All jail cells come with laptops and Wi-Fi? I hope so. <laughs> Can someone look up if that's a real website, please? It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, type that one super fast because the number one best detective put me here. No one will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anyone reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. 
But if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Moore has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just on one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. It's the one where JT gets stabbed and literally- Oh my god! Why that one? Oh my god! Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm great that lobster cop- By the way, for those of you that don't know, um... Uh, for the- for the- for the children in, that are watching this, uh, Degrassi was a very old web, uh, TV show, uh, that- I don't even know if it's still running. Potentially it could be just with... But it basically had, like, an ever-rotating cast. And it was just the most dramatic thing. Think, um... Oh, shit. What's that show called now? Um... Oh, my God. I forget the name of it. Uh, what? whatever the current, like, high school is so, like, awful... Euphoria. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Euphoria. Um, yeah, it was Euphoria, but not absolute shit. Um, yeah, so think Euphoria, but, like, not as bad, but very 2000s. So. Anyway. Um, I'm grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. And Drake was, yeah, Drake was in it and got shot. <gasps> Mystery Monkey. <gasps> this is Mystery Monkey from the first case. Are they going to come to my rescue? Can't believe this. Mo, what's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. Can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you gonna do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Let's go! Is it time for a mystery monkey? Mystery monkey detective? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Sailor Moon. Okay. Do I get to play as Mystery Monkey now? Look after the lab, Mo. Not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. I thought the game was done. Oh my god, we actually get to play as Mystery Monkey. A little bit later. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while about about the mystery of Haunted Island. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise, I realize this is a highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is a lobster cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy... The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Uh... I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Our second best detective. <laughs> well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my top two investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's, out it's so out of character. Even the if the detective is guilty. Uh, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no. What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. 
The name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? Remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back- Oh, we- he was there. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo of the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? This game is so long compared to the other ones. Is this like a double case? New playable character unlocks. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office. Oh, God. There's me. I'm the monkey now. What's this? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this power around and take another look. It's longer, plus all the scooter time. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Lobster cop be hiding. <gasps> Copy of the detective's notebook. <laughs> Lobster cop and Mason Mole. And a note. It reads Hello, Lobster cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are right, are correct, and Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. Oh. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Ooh. The plot runs fucking deep. Lobster cop, the number one best detective? A fraud? I need to get to the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has to be terrible misjustice. Also, can we talk about the fact that Sherman, the one that wanted to fuck the frog detective, didn't believe him? Sherman, what the hell? We're done. We're done, Sherman. We don't- you don't get- you don't get to be in Frog Detective's pants if you lock him away in jail, okay? Lust over logic. That's what it should be. What's going on here? Howdy folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want in trouble. We're here about a good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of Frog. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful? Also be a stealer of all our hats. A frog so pretty, so alert. No, fuck you, Sherman. We're done. I really trust a Frog Detective, that snake. Can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. You're a criminal! Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no out when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. 
Doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective's innocent. Sure, we all saw that photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Doesn't even have eyebrows. So it was stolen too. <laughs> Mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the elements. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Do Frog Detective's blog. Frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing, regardless. You say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Ah, oh, we're done, Sherman. You can flatter me all you want, but we're done. So? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole is right back room. Back to Sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. <laughs> I also like that every other house is just completely... Well, Frog Detective is right there. But also, what if I just talk to the Mason? Well, let's tuck it out of him. The day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. Oh, come on. Come on. I want to see what happens. Mystery Monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in the bad room. Or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he do this to frame me? Hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You, Detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, Detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. I can't believe that all lobster cops are bad. Who could have thought? <laughs> well, let's wait until dawn and confront lobster cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Can you let me out of jail, though? No? No, we're not being let out of jail. I'm just in jail still. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I've called this town- Oh, I am out of jail. Okay, cool. But still, Mystery Monkey's talking? I guess they were the one that discovered this. Okay, we'll let, we'll let Mystery Monkey have their time in the, in the sun. I have some bad news. I have some news. I'm sorry about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I only noticed you after you spoke, and not the whole time you were standing there, clearly in sight of me. Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> huh. What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I, I found the letter that the Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. The Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detectives since I called for the help of the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? Feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. Yeah, see? It was him behind the shop. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole behind his shop. What? I never... Oh, but you did! Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <gasps> no, I... No, that's not... I... Uh. Oh, he's crying. This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, 
Ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. I'd read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I gave him to leave I wouldn't be able to do it, passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? The lobster cop. Your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Wool was there for me. Having friends is so important. We were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested the lobster cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that I got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let jealousy get the best of me. How'd you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in this town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats, and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal, of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you, but what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. Framing was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems unreasonably, seems really harsh and unfair. Yeah, we should just enact the death penalty, guys. Why are we locking them up? Like, if you do a crime, just get killed. Like, like any old crime, you know? Getting locked up seems more inhumane than just being killed. That's all I'm saying. Um, how is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea, I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strate strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you gonna send us to Bad Room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your powers in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you were enabled to encourage this behavior. I'm mad at both of you. We deserve that. I think an appropriate cop course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe something to do with helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. GUN! Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lobster Cop a gun! What the fuck is happening? Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I had an idea what the you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post, post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Malone. <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some wrongs with things I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have, and also both created or got access to a firearm which should not exist in this society and then gave it to a fucking cop. I'm gonna channel that energy into being a positive and in be sorry, not being a positive, but being a postie, and please rest assured that you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. <laughs> Where's my dance sequence? Say, now that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to Investigator Eel. Mystery Monkey! Oh shit! It was the twist twist. I thought it was going to be Investigator Eel, but no, Mystery Monkey. Wow, congratulations Mystery Monkey, what an achievement. I can't believe it, thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. 
You can move into my old office. There's also a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor next to work next door to the number one best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and Lobster Posty? Post Malone? Yeah? You're invited too. Yo, it's not a party without Post Malone. That's all I'm saying. There's my dance sequence. <laughs> oh, we got the band! Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Alright, Frog Detective 3, Corruption at Cowboy County. Well, there you go. There you go, everyone. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is, uh, this is a wild, this is a little wild ride, alright. Frog Detective was invented by Grace Bruxner. I made you and I can destroy you, Grace. <laughs> so the first two games, fantastic. The first two games were absolutely wonderful. The third game? Insanity. Like, just, I don't know the, the release times between each game, but man, the third one just blew the other two way out of the water there. I'm still blown away by the fact that, um, oh, that's cool. Um, oh, respect to our, uh, First Nations people. Um, I'm still blown away by the Degrassi credits. And the fake credit rule. That was... Insane. Oh, post credit scene, of course. Always have a post credit scene. Are they setting up for Frog Detective 4? I really fucking hope so. I really fucking hope so. Oh, there it is. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday! Thanks so much! I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. You're your number one best detective, I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Guess I'll be right there. Wait. <laughs> they just taped over Lobster Cop's face with the mystery monkey. <laughs> I love that. Hi, Mystery Monkey. Yeah, it's literally all the photos are just lobster cop <laughs> taped over Mystery Monkey. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? Oh, no, I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Oh, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. What other room? I thought this was the exit. <gasps> it's a surprise party! Oh, it's so cute! Surprise! Huh? Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yes, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island, I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you've never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. Should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. It's gonna be delivered by Post Malone. And... And Lopsty Posty. Yeah! Special birthday delivery. Oh, Barney's also here. Is that for me? Open it up. Is it gonna be a hat that fits- <gasps> It's a hat that fits me! Oh, that's the best gift. Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. 
I can't wear hats due to my head shape. I'll just try it on. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Oh, he's crying. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. Oh, we love making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. That's so cute. Alright. Toast Science Discovery Jam. Collaborating on the latest potion, Lolo and Mandy. Celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, he fucking did it. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth TM. Nice. Fresh. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. Oh, we do fuck Sherman. Let's go. We get it in the end. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. Can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret, Bernie. I'm the sheriff now, and I didn't even have to beat anyone up. We're on the dynamite. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Nice. We are not the same guy, Larry and Lobster Posty. My first day of cowboy school, Dusty. Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Post Malone. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. The koala. So many shells down here. Well wishes from the blue sea orbit. This makes me smile. I, this is so cute. Uh, we performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Finley and Martin. Oh. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. I broke my leg. Oh my god. Time for my phone, naughty. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were a year from Victor. Yeah, he wasn't at the party. Uh, finally met my hero, Lobster Co- I mean Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Frog Detective. Man! Oh. The end. Oh. I can honestly say I don't think I've smiled this much and like while playing a game. Like like probably since Toem. Toem was one of the cutest games I've played and this outshines it by far. Oh. What? Uh... Okay. <laughs> I thought there was a case five. Wait, what? What is this? What is this? I... Okay. I, I, I've gotten close to calling the stream like seven times at this point. Um, because I'm like, oh, it's all done. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. Is this actually a... We got a Tony Hawk fucking skater moment. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, this is the best game ever fucking made. Are you- This is absolutely amazing. Why is this not game of the year? I was joking! 
when they gave the scooter, but no, it's absolutely a real thing. That is absolutely amazing. I fucking love that. Oh, I wish I was really good at scooting. I'm sorry, I know I should probably be calling the stream, but like this is this is too much fun. This is everything I wanted as soon as they gave me the scooter. I don't even care if anyone's here anymore. I'm having way too much fun with this. Holy shit. I can't believe they actually gave me a scooter. Like fucking Tony Hawk section. That's amazing. God, I wish I was better at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. That's insane. I love that so much. Alright, no, I'm done for now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Alright, we're actually calling it this time. I, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Everyone that came out. Um, this is insanely fun. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy that I played this. So uh, thank you again. Um, be sure to stick around for more just dumb fucking shit that we play here. Uh, hit that follow button, subscribe to my YouTube if you want to see the gameplay uh, videos that I post, and uh, otherwise, have a great night. Alright, bye!